from one conflict zone to the other conflict zone. As China extended its war drills around Taiwan, Taipei too started its live fire war drills in the southern part of the island. Taiwan's drills included live firing by 155mm howitzers and flare wargaming beating back an amphibious assault. 16 Chinese fighter jets crossed the median line. Taiwan cautioned the world that China's actions would not remain restricted just to choking Taiwan straight, but were aimed at denying freedom of navigation both in South and East China Sea. 40 howitzers of the Taiwan Army open up along the island's southern coast almost simultaneously. The 155mm howitzers spit fire to deter an amphibious assault by the Chinese army in these drills. Taiwan has been described as an unsinkable aircraft carrier given its strategic location. Military exercises by the 8th Army Corps is to ensure hostile forces do not reach Taiwan's territory and are neutralized before they enter the coastal waters. Taiwan's foreign minister hit out at the Chinese live fire military drills after the departure of US House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, calling it Beijing's irresponsible behavior that undermined not just regional peace, but also international trade and transportation. China is clearly trying to deter other countries from interfering in its attempt to invade Taiwan. Its rehearsal of anti-access and area denial, or A2AD, tactics, gives us a clear image of China's geostrategic ambition beyond Taiwan. Beijing's military drills that began on the 4th of August continued even on the 9th. On the 6th day of the Chinese military drills, 45 PLA Air Force fighter jets and 10 PLA Navy warships carried out aggressive maneuvers. Taiwan said the joint air and naval exercises around Taiwan included 16 PLA Air Force fighter jets crossing the median line aggressively before returning to the Chinese side. Taipei insists Beijing was using Nancy Pelosi's visit as an excuse to conduct these aggressive military exercises to destroy status quo across the Taiwan Straits. China's real intention behind these military exercises is to alter the status quo in the Taiwan Strait and the entire region. This has already brought significantly unstable elements into the mix, threatening regional security. Taiwan has warned the West that Beijing's anti-axis and area denial exercises are not limited to the Taiwan Strait but are aimed to take full control of the South and East China Sea and treat it not as international waters, but as China's territory. China's Eastern Theater Command insists the focus of the Chinese air, land and sea drills are to work on joint blockade and joint support and logistics operations. In the operations this time, we, with the support of the Joint Combat System, focused efforts on unclogging the direct link from target discovery to the terminal shooter with the achievement of desired results. We also systematically examined our tactics for offensive campaigns, honed and improved our capability of precise strike and destroyed the vital targets on the island so as to ensure our Air Force's efficiency, accuracy and intensity. Taiwan says China has no right to interfere or alter Taiwan's status, claiming Taiwan is neither subordinate to China nor intimidated by Chinese war drills. Given China's anti-submarine warfare exercises, Taiwan is working on its response to counter the Chinese threat to strangle Taipei through a military blockade of the Taiwan Strait. The US finally reacted to China's drills, claiming China is not in a position to escalate the situation beyond the current exercises. I am, uh, I'm not worried, but I'm concerned that they're moving as much as they are. But I don't think they're going to do anything more. China is yet to ease its stranglehold around Taiwan. Taipei's artillery drills will continue even on Wednesday 
and the U.S. aircraft carrier USS Ronald Reagan remains in South China Sea conducting freedom of navigation patrols. The area remains a tinderbox. Bureau report, India Today.